today's video is going to be a get ready with me and this was so fun to film. I feel like you got to know my personality more, you got to chat with me, I asked you a bunch of questions and I created this makeup look right here. So if you want to see how I created it and see my journey of belief in myself in my makeup skills, <laughs> then carry on watching. I'm actually quite nervous to do this. So I'm going to start off with my eye makeup. When we went to Beautycon there were loads of these single shadows from NYX and I picked up a few because I want to get better at makeup. So this is my challenge today. I am going to be trying to create like a burgundy eye. I have starstruck flustered and over the taupe too. I'm not gonna lie I've like never properly done like coloured eye makeup so <laughs> I'm actually like properly nervous for this. I think that's like proper English. Let's get started. I believe as the beauty gurus do it, they start with concealer on the eyelid or like primer, but I'm really not that like makeup y. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done like a chatty get ready with me like so this is exciting let me know also I really want to do like a get ready with me with my friends like for going out because like that's the best part of like going out is like getting ready together and I think that'd be so fun to like film us getting ready and stuff also I have wet hair by the way I just thought you know it'd add to the getting ready aspect <laughs> speaking of um it's like it's like six o'clock and I'm not doing anything today well this evening that's okay Okay, sometimes you just want to get ready because you do. Try using this. Can't really tell if you guys if you guys are in focus, if my camera's in focus, if my life is in focus. Probably not. Right, transition shades are basically, you know, feel like I, I can do that part. <laughs> Saying that, I don't know if I can. I really want to get my eyebrows um tinted. So let me know if you've had yours done before, what your experience was and like where you got them done. Because I just don't want to come back and have like dark eyebrows and then not match. But, like, look at my natural eyebrow. <laughs> Especially in this like camera and lighting, they look awful. Okay, I think I'm gonna try using Starstruck on my lid. Guys, I'm sorry if you're like a makeup artist and you're watching this and like cringing right now because honestly, I can't do makeup. I'm well aware that I can't do makeup. But look at this color on my lid. Okay, I'm not gonna use my finger. That was a bad idea from the start. <laughs> I'm gonna try using this like Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush and like, I think that's what it is. No, it's not. A shadow brush. <laughs> the reason I'm starting with my eyes is because I just know there's going to be a lot of fallout. So, in a sense, I'm good at makeup because I know that I'm bad at it. <laughs> no, it doesn't work like that. Okay, so so far it looks like I've been like, I don't know, I've got an eye infection or something. <laughs> <laughs> Bear with the process, okay? What makes me laugh, right? It's something people notice about me, is I make myself laugh. <laughs> and now I'm gonna use flustered, like, in the crease and create a little, like, I don't know, if it wants to come out. Oh, what I find funny, right? I've said this before, but I don't know if it just is me. I think I'm funny, right? But people sometimes don't laugh. <laughs> I sound so stupid right now. People don't laugh. <laughs> But you know when you make a joke and it's funny and you're like expecting like the crowd to go wild and like everyone to laugh and stuff and they don't and you're like um god tough crowd today and when people do laugh they're like laughing at me not with me <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'm like a laughy person. It looks a lot worse on camera. Oh! Mm. Thing is, is I'm laughing, but I actually want this to look nice. It's like with maths. Like, I laugh, but I'm bad at it. But I still want to be good, you know? <laughs> oh, my fallout though right now is ridiculous. It's just a bit patchy though, isn't it? <gasps> I got my nails done! I got my nails done, guys. This is the first time I've ever had my nails done. Right, so I was gonna get nude, and then I went in and I was just like, you know what, I really want like dark red. I was wearing my fishnet tights with my like denim skirt, my black puffer, and I was like, you know what, I'm just feeling the red. Although I think I'm gonna repaint them like nude in like a week. Just because I get bored of nail polish colours easily. But I feel like this could become like a new addiction. First day it hurts. Oh, I should probably do my makeup whilst I talk. The first day it hurts. And then it's like a whole new me, really. Like I feel like a woman now. No, honestly though, like I love them. I think I'm going to get infills. Well, I mean, it's only like my third day of having them, but it could be an addiction, you know? Something ain't right when we talking. Something ain't right when we talking. Look like you're out of your problems. Really, you never want to stop. <laughs> 
made it this far with like my non-existent eyebrows and thank you so I've done the worst eyeliner that I've ever done like honestly in my life like this is Aladdin wants its shoe back like it's cut it's awful I also cannot tell if I'm in focus and have been throughout this whole video so yeah it's gonna be fun when I edit Woo! I'm gonna go on to my Demi Wispies and these are so so grubby and gross. I need to buy new eyelashes. These are the only ones I have at the moment. <gasps> How am I going to do them with my nails? Ooh, wait, I like actually put that on. You know what? With eyelashes, this doesn't look that bad. One thing that I've always wanted to do is roll my eyes and I just can't do it and it's like really embarrassing. Like, you know when someone sends you a Snapchat and it's just like, well, like you're sending a Snapchat and it's just like right relatable and everything. <laughs> and you want to have like a rolling your eyes photo, but you can't roll your eyes and it's so like irritating. So, oh, these are so grimy. <laughs> I feel like it's just like a natural like genetic thing, you know? Maybe I just haven't got that gene. Lash too. Oh no. Okay. Holy, holy, holy. I'm gonna go on to eyebrows because I look ridiculous without them. Then I'll smoke out the bottom and maybe this is proving that Olivia should try and make up more because actually if she tries, she's not like as bad as she thinks, but like she's still bad. I am so bad at eyebrows. My eyebrows are completely opposite. Everyone's like, oh, eyebrows are sisters, not twins. No, mine are like half, like separated cousins. One's a boy, one's a girl. They both like want to do completely different things with their life and I've just rubbed eyeliner everywhere. <gasps> I'm on red battery. Also, right, I'm doing a lot more braver things this year, okay? I find things like bank cards, stuff like that in shops, like very stressful. It gives me like, gives me a lot of stress. But I went to Oxford Street and I paid with my card in Oxford Street. How cool is that? Like it may be nothing to some people, but that is crazy to me. For Christmas, I got this like M&S set and I haven't used it because it's been like at the back of my drawer, so I've not really got the chance, but I'm gonna try it out. I don't know how pigmented it's gonna be. I've kind of swatched it but not really properly used it so I'm gonna try the yellow. I feel like this is the wrong type of yellow. Like a banana powder yellow. Although on camera it's kind of... Oops how is this gonna blend like under like foundation? I'm using a bit of salmon as well because my under eyes are so dark. Honestly like my skin has been at an all time low at the moment. Just because I'm so ridiculously stressed it's actually a joke. This looks atrocious right now but it's okay. As I've been saying it's a process. I'm going straight ahead with the super state better skin foundation oh you know what would be really interesting is i want to know what year you guys are in or like how old you are depending where you're from because i'm really interested obviously i've got the anal analytics oh how cute are my earrings by the way obsessed you guys know i love hoop oh my gosh my just like my trail of thought just changes i need to what was i saying again oh i'm interested to know how old you guys are because like i think it'd be really interesting ah okay my din dins is ready you know I ain't had lunch so I'm having an early dinner I know I want to know where you guys are from I want to know what you're in because you know a lot about me I'm gonna go with the instant anti-age rewind under my eyes it's my favorite thing best concealer ever it's kind of expensive for like a concealer like eight pounds like from the drugstore but it's so so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and attempt contouring with this stick. This is the collection Precision Contouring Medium Stick and I use this like very often actually. So I just do like a ridiculous line. I should probably try find my mirror because and then I do my forehead. As you guys know I struggle with the baby hair problem. <laughs> then to highlight I'm gonna use this collection Lasting Perfection in it fair and just put it on my forehead, down my nose, on my cupid's bow, that area, chin. Oh, I should probably use a beauty blender but I can't be bothered to go and wet it. <gasps> There's a water bottle. Remind me not to use this water bottle to drink from. <laughs> so I've got my Nanchi beauty blender and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, blend it out. I hate blending stuff like this. So if I'm drawing it on but blending it out takes ages but it's so long. So this looks atrocious right now but oh, look how chiseled I look. Woo! <laughs> I'm gonna go back with this colour. Anyone can remember the shade of this? I good on you because I can't. <laughs> and I'm just gonna go on my lower lash line. This is gonna go everywhere. Whoa! Honestly I kind of vibe these eyes. These eyes? I'm actually gonna cut my eyelashes. I feel like this is like something you should not do with fake eyelashes on. But you know me, I don't know anything about makeup so I just do it anyway to be honest. Bottom lash mascara. Now this is where I kind of mess it up a bit. And it gets all over in my face and Ooh. I'm gonna use this NARS blusher and this is so pretty a dupe for this actually is sleek in rose gold 
so pretty. I'm using a setting brush. I don't really know why, I just haven't used this for ages, so I'm gonna use it. Bring it up, apples and up, bombs away, apples and up. No, not a thing. Oh, now I remember why I never use blush. I just don't know when to stop, clearly. Oh, that's my bronzer brush. That was all going so well. Do I just go with the same colour I always wear? Yeah. Yeah, that goes. Who do I even think I am? I'd still wear it if it didn't go. I always accidentally overline my lips because I just, like, when I put concealer on, I can't actually see my lip line, so I just go over by accident and then I'm like, oops. So I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look and just sitting and just sitting with me whilst I chat to you guys. And if you want more Get Ready With Me's, then definitely give this video a big old thumbs up and let me know in the comments so I'll do more because honestly, I enjoyed this so much. So I feel like I, it could be like a regular occurrence you know on my channel get ready with Livy like I don't know edition like meeting friends edition <laughs> and I'll see you so so soon with a new video bye